Well, a week ago, Governor Gavin Newsom lifted the stay at home orders across Southern California, putting San Diego back into the purple tier. Joining us with more on this is attorney Michael Curran, whose firm has been representing a number of local businesses around the county amid the shutdowns. Good morning, Michael. Good to see you again. Good morning, Lauren. Great to see you again as well. Boy, KUSI, you guys are doing such a nice job of covering the restaurants. I love the passion and enthusiasm of your prior guests, and we appreciate you guys. Well, trying to, to keep these businesses going, at least uh, in any way that they can, you we started talking with you uh, a while back when it was just a few restaurants really asking a lot of questions about the legality of some of these shutdowns. And now you are representing over 600 businesses as part of this, just asking to safely reopen in, in a broader capacity. Tell us how that is going. Well, so it began with about 50 or 60 restaurants up in Carlsbad in the beginning of December. We had this idea several months ago, and this idea is not anything new. It's the United States and California constitutions. There is no law behind these so-called health and safety orders. There is law, the highest law in the land, behind constitutional rights. And when a government seeks to infringe on constitutional rights, they have to do so in a very narrow way. And shutting down businesses, you're open, you're closed, you're open 25%, 50%, uh, you're closed again, indoor dining, outdoor dining. None of those things are constitutional. They are made up orders of a governor who is misguided and not following science, facts, or evidence. So our, our movement has been, we are going to stay open as an exercise of our constitutional rights. Our clients are looking forward to an announcement uh, of the opening of indoor dining at 25% or 50%. But what we've told our clients is, keep your restaurants open, exercise your constitutional rights, open outdoors, and open indoors and do so in a safe way and that's what they're doing and have been doing for the past couple of months yeah i don't i don't want to make it sound as though you're downplaying the virus or, or its seriousness at all but but just the ability to to have businesses operate in a safe fashion and i know that you've you've really pointed to numbers of cases that were being linked to restaurants as it really being a non-factor and a number of people who have supported this um, and we've heard statements from local health officials as well that with the shutting down of outdoor dining you know it, it forced a lot of people to gather indoors uh, and and I know you've pointed that to to being a reason why it's just not making a lot of sense yeah Wilma Wooten who's our safety officer here in San Diego County she, she said it's unfair to shut down restaurants and it's a bad idea because it forces people to gather indoors. You know, shutting down outdoor dining, shutting down uh, outdoor gatherings, which are much safer than indoor gatherings, has actually increased the spread. It has not decreased the spread. And we've seen that over this last shutdown. So uh, why, why was it necessary? It made no scientific sense. It made no legal sense. It wasn't constitutional. It was just a bad idea. It's the second or third time we've done it. It didn't work the first couple of times. How is it that Governor Newsom thought it would work the third time? It didn't work, and there's never been any science, law, or, or actual evidence that points to shutting down the restaurants contributes to uh, halting the spread of the virus. We know our restaurants are safe. We know statistically, and in the last two months, there has been virtually no breakouts in our restaurants. So we know what we're doing is safe. We know what we're doing is right. And we think that we are really contributing to bringing health and life back to the community. Just like your previous guest, you saw that there's life and there's health and there's happiness coming back. And we're just so delighted to see that. And I know, you know, other states, New York is opening up uh, indoor dining at some capacity uh, starting February 14th. So, you know, there has been discussion of when California is going to do that. Uh, have you been privy to any information in your discussions with officials about when that could happen for California? So, so we have uh, ears everywhere. What we had heard either today or yesterday, which didn't happen, or today, a couple of unusual things happened. Typically, Gavin Newsom has a press conference yesterday. He didn't have it yesterday. We know that Dr. Mark Gailey is having a press conference today. We're hopeful as part of that press conference, there's going to be an announcement of the opening of indoor dining to 25%. Uh, but we're certain it's going to happen the next couple of weeks because as you say, uh, Governor Cuomo has announced that they'll be opening uh, on uh, February 14th. We know that Governor Newsom is going to want to open earlier than that uh, because California wants to lead New York. Or, but again, it's not any particular science. It's simply politics. And there's no reason that these restaurants can't be open for indoor and outdoor dining now. 
What about an update on the lawsuits that are taking place? So a lot of lawsuits going on circulating through federal and state courts. Uh, Newsom made an interesting comment the other day. He, he was asked about these lawsuits and he said, we're winning, meaning the governor is winning. You know, I, I didn't realize that we were um, the adversaries of this governor. Apparently that's his perception. Um, and, and he in fact has been an adversary. He has shut our restaurants down. He has shut down businesses. He took an oath to protect the lives and livelihoods of all California citizens. He's not done a very good job of that. Michael Curran, as always, appreciate you giving us an update on this and uh, we'll definitely keep in touch and see how this continues to play out. Uh, I think we should both get one of those uh, for four uh, Bloody Marys. That, that, that looked pretty good. It's It's been the talk of the morning, let me tell you. I think I think a <laughs> I, farmer's table is going to have some outdoor dining Bloody Mary drinking going on. <laughs> I, I think you and I and Paul could do some damage on that. Oh, without a doubt. Michael, thank you <laughs> thank so you, much. Have a great day. You too. Well,